Motorsport, yeah. put that thing in sports. Shout it bad, pop a like a court. Pop it. You a dork, never been a sport. What's up to all our riders out there? This is our first video. My name is Nikki. I'm Shayna. Excuse my voice, guys. I lost it for her birthday. <laughs> busy turning up. So today's video will be a Q&A video. There's like 10 questions about us and all the questions are on our phone. So yeah, question number one is, what, at what age did we start writing? I think it's kind of hard to say because you have a street age and then you have like a dirt age. I think street, I was... I was 15. I was, was 18. Yeah, I got my license at 15. Um, dirt, we were like... Four. <laughs> as long as like we'll insert a picture of us on our first quad like that's really how we got started and it was a electric jigsaw cross <laughs> and then when we got about five and six my dad got us the replica but the real version of it so you know that's why we call ourselves the jigsaw sisters mm -hmm. and then our first sport bike was a jigsaw so it just stuck <laughs> see so i be getting tatted <laughs> okay so question number two is, what reactions do we get when people find out that we ride or when we tell them that we ride? They like, what do you ride, a bicycle? Yeah, sometimes it's <laughs> usually like, are you on the back? No, this is that one I hate. Is that your boyfriend's bike? Yeah. Yeah. Or aren't you too small to ride? Like, is that bike too big? You seen Or the all up. famous, I had a cousin that died oh, on a motorcycle. That's number one that I hate. And I'm like, I got a friend that walked out of his house and busted his head open. Somebody got in the car and died. Did I tell you not to leave your house? Like, everyone dies. Like, don't even wish that upon us. Like, we ride because we want to, because we love it. Or the ones that act like they know what kind of bike you have. What's that, a Ninja Jixxer 550? <laughs> a Ninja Jixxer Honda? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Or they do like the whole girl shouldn't ride, it's not safe. Y'all can hurt yourselves. You can't pick up the bike. And she picked that bike up when she was 100 pounds. So, like, it's. We experienced. Like, I'm 26 now. We've been riding over 10 years. So, we got more experience than half y'all people watching this, low key. <laughs> no offense to everyone that's been riding before, but. Lord. Like. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> no shade, no shade, no shade. Your umbrella. <laughs> shade. Question number three is, what do you hate about riding? Helmet hair or my hair getting messed up when I take my helmet off. Yeah, I hate, I'm not gonna say I hate traffic because we can split lanes out here, but. I like traffic, it's fun. You do? It's like playing a video game. I just hate when the bike <laughs> get hot. I'll be ready to go. That made me go faster. Yeah. <laughs> I be trying to get to where I'm going. What else I hate? I hate people that don't know how to ride that's right next to me. Yeah, when people can't stay in their lanes. Cause like, I'm gonna say it because I was in the club, so we used to ride in formation. So I, I really don't like when people just be going all over the place. It puts everybody at risk, too. Anything else? Mm, I hate people who steal bikes. Oh, yeah, because y'all know our bike got stolen a few months ago. So, you know, we hate bike thieves. Get your own shit. Period. Okay, right, question number four is who rides better? Me. No, I do. But I think we have our own strengths and weaknesses. Like, I think I'm better on dirt, and I think you're a better street rider. How does your parents feel about us riding? Mom hates it. <laughs> One time, I think it was probably like the sun was probably just going down. Mom was like, All right, time to come home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. When I first started That's riding, when we first started riding, she did. I had to wait till my mom was in the back of the house and like push the bike down the driveway so I can leave. Oh yeah. Like, you have to ride quietly down yeah, and so start it at the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My mom hates it. My dad rides so he ain't tripping. He loves it. He want me to raise. He want me to Yeah, he really, wants us to do more. Like, like, <laughs> like, oh, I'm going to teach you how to do a stoppy. <laughs> oh yeah. It's just mom. He like, did you get that front wheel off the ground? No. Right. No. But I told him about Willie once. He said, what, two inches? <laughs> Mine was on accident. I took off too fast. <laughs> no, I got it up pretty. I was scared though. Mm -hmm. 
After that, I'm like, no, no red I, I was like, oh, <laughs> too high. <laughs> <laughs> Question six. Have you ever went down on your bike? I did. <laughs> but I got hit. I got team bone. A dude ran a stop sign and hit me. And I like flew off in the air. And this fool driving behind me <laughs> mounted the curb and drove around everybody <laughs> to come get me. But I was like, I'm good. Just check on the bike. <laughs> that junk was under that car. All I can tell y'all is don't break. Just jump. Don't try to save your bike. Like, just jump. That's what saved me. Because if I would have tried to hold on to it, I'd probably been stuck under the car somewhere. Probably. Yeah. I got hit, but I didn't go down. I was splitting lanes, and this lady tried to jump out the carpet lane and hit my back tire. Mm. I was like this. And everybody was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> yeah, like, I think that's all. I think you always low-key get bumped like that. Either with the mirror or something, like someone trying to hurry up and get out the carpool lane. I know, right? With my back tire, like, damn. Mm. Or, no, I think the freeway was turning and I was in between. And both of the cars going like this, so I had to pick my feet up. Oh. Like I've done that, but I just floored it. Like, I gave it all I got. And I was stuck. <laughs> I was on squeeze up out of there. Question seven What made you start your YouTube channel? You answer? You want me to answer? You answer. Well, if y'all don't know already, I have my own YouTube channel, but it's more about me modeling. But I, like, I don't really see a lot of people look like us, like that ride, or try to introduce other people into riding. Like we not rich or anything. Like we come, like we from Compton, so we just like two girls that just love riding bikes and we just happen to be introduced. Like Venus and Yeah, like we like <laughs> Venus and <laughs> <laughs> like you really don't get introduced to it that widespread so i think it'll be a good introductory to kids and other women that want to ride that's like are too scared to or or anything like that true question eight if you're a new rider how would i start i think first you should at least take get your practice license and then take the class because the class is a good, you actually ride in the class, so you can kind of get a feel of it if that's something for you or not. And they kind of tell you the basics. That way you learn gradually and not just, here's a clutch, here's a throttle, good luck, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they kind of, you know, really walk you and baby step you so you don't get overwhelmed, I think. What you think? Yeah. It was. It's hummingbird. <laughs> Sorry. It was, um, yeah, the class helps. I used to stall at the like all yeah. the time. And ever since the class, I have been really, so. Yeah. The class, the class helped me do tighter U turns. Oh, yeah. Make sure you turn your head. Right. It's so simple. Like, I could turn, but like, I was making them like, like really tight. So, yeah, definitely take the class. Even if you are an advanced writer or rolled before, it still kind of give you little gems that I think can help everybody and help build your confidence too and lower your insurance so you know <laughs> that's always good number nine i guess this question is for me is <laughs> how does your boyfriend feel about you writing even though he doesn't write and he wants to learn it just i gotta get him a, um, a starter bike so i want him to know my bike <laughs> Like it's it's Don't I think the brawl, like, no but I think the motor is too big <laughs> like having a really intense bike can really scare somebody into not riding at all so I think having a smaller bike or a smaller motor bike I think it'll be a better trans a transition but yeah he loves it he loves watching me ride so <laughs> okay last question how does your boyfriend feel about you riding even though he rides as well um I feel like it's a plus for us um, we don't have that. We have, you know, we're on the same wavelength when it comes to yes. certain activities that we do. Um, we go to the motorcycle club, we hang out there, or even just riding to get something to eat, or riding to the movies, it's always like an extra fun activity that adventure we do. and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. Only bad part, some guys, you know, be looking, but he thinks it's funny most of the time, so <laughs> <laughs> it works out, you know, with him. Um, other than that, yeah, I feel like it's a That's good fun. thing, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so thanks for watching our first video. First of many, we hope to come back and share more of our experiences with you guys. Don't forget to shop our merch. 
girls on ground and we also have guys on ground for the dudes you know we got hats hoodies phone. like cats uh, hoodies and our phone, phone cases ipad cases just make sure you check it out but yeah thank y'all for watching we'll see you in the next video this is